Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, welcome back to Mr. Red Dragon 543. And if you remember, we made a tier list back a while ago during 2.1.3. I believe that is when we made our first list. Uh, so, yeah. Now this is a uh, 2.4, which has been over a year since we made that list, and uh, new characters has came out, and new opinions has arose of older characters as well. So if we don't mind, uh, let's uh, rate our waifus, and unlike last time, this will be one individual list with both design and uh, personalities combined. Now, I'm not familiar with all the characters, as I do not own them all. And, yeah, so let's go with, uh, from the beginning, from alphabetical order, uh, we got Alloy. Now, Alloy is the only collaboration character from Genshin Impact so far. I have, indeed, played Horizon Zero Dawn, and her character is a very interesting character as well. I do genuinely like the character in Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, but as a Genshin waifu, I'd say that it's, uh, we need to expand on her. So right now, uh, even though she's great in her own game, as for Genshin, I'd say she's a D tier. Let's just give her more time and possibly expand on her lore in Genshin, then it might arise. Amber... Uh, same like the last list, I love her design as she does look like Mei from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. And she's very outgoing and passionate. She's definitely one to look out for you and your best interest as well as her own. She seems very clumsy but she's also very friendly. And uh, she's definitely someone you would definitely would wife. So she's an easy ass to her. Ayaka, um, I'm not one for her design personally. Uh, I do not like bangs, like her her bangs. Um, that that's just a me thing though. <laughs> uh, and also the uh, the socks and waters, it, it it annoys me. Like um, sorry, what no? Barbara, Ikeyo. So Barbara, I actually really like as a character. Uh, she's She's very sweet and innocent, as well as uh, looking out for others. And she's also a character I can relate to, as she is a sibling character. Uh, so she, so with a lot of siblings, like uh, I am, even though she's the youngest of the family, uh, I am the oldest of my family. I am the older brother of a brother and a sister, and. Just like Barbara, uh, my siblings tend to excel at things that I don't. And so, because of the fact that like they excel in things, I tend to relate to that a lot. And I can see myself definitely being an S tier with Barbara. Beto, as much as I love her design and stuff like that, I know a lot of Last time I put her on an S tier for the design. I don't know what I put on personality, um, but she her personality is great too. Uh, the only thing that it worries me is I'm not an alcoholic, and I know she's a big time alcoholic. But I mean, she does her thing. But uh, I mean, I don't mind that. So I mean, I guess I'll keep her on an S. Eula, uh. I'm not into domination. She has a good design, though. Uh, Fischl, um, Fischl would probably just annoy the shit out of me, to be honest, so she's going in C tier. I mean, as much as I love her, like, her design especially, because it's the gothic design, she would annoy the shit out of me. Um, Ganyu would have no time for you, unfortunately, but she also has a great design, so 
It's unfortunate, but she's also going at a B tier. Hu Tao? Okay, so Hu Tao is another character that I... So Hu Tao I don't own, but I've done her story quest, and she's a very fun, spirited character. Um, obviously, she's uh, one with dark humor, and I do have a sense of dark humor as well, so we would definitely get along in that regard, making dark humor jokes, especially about death. Um, as well as her, her design is very interesting as well, I do like it. I love her eyes, like her eyes are very unique. Um, but I do think that she, like Fisher would get a little bit annoying and would get a little too much, you know? But yeah, that's uh, what I think about Hu Tao and she's going in A tier. Jean overworks herself and unfortunately that would be a more stressful thing. Uh, She's going in B tier. Uh, yeah, same reason as Jean, pretty much. Ka-ching, you're going in there. Like, you you might not overwork yourself, but, like, you're just going straight up B. Kokomi, you're going to jail. You're a war criminal. Uh, Lisa? Lisa's, uh, you know, great mommy material. And what I mean mommy, I mean, like, she has, like, someone that you would want to make a mother. You know, she definitely has that wife as tier vibes. Unfortunately, she might die soon, but you know what? As long as she can bear someone's kids, that's all that matters. <laughs> Lumine is very interesting because just like... So Lumine and Ava are very uh, similar as they're both twins. But um, obviously, uh, Lumine tends to... Uh, be the villain villain in the uh, Genshin side, but in our side, we are the main character, and so far, I do love how expressive she is, and as well as the fact that, uh, just like us, she'll sometimes uh, pick up things along the way, whether that's uh, unique skills or a new personality, and uh, honestly, I could see myself getting along with her, so she'd be an A tier. Mona, get back to the streets. Ning Wong, uh, sugar mama, yes, wife, I'd say so. Noelle, okay, so Noelle is definitely a S tier wife because she would do everything for you no matter what. And so that's the thing with Noelle, is Noelle would make sure you're on your best. And she would do everything for you. So Noelle is definitely a S-tier waifu. Rosaria? No, Rosaria is a very interesting character. Uh, one, she's the only character I've actually triple crowned. Two, she, despite her working at a church, she doesn't seem much interested in the church at all, but, like, uh, I know that she's got a very rough exterior, but she's definitely got a very soft inside. Uh, so she's definitely someone I can see relaxing, even though I'm, like, I'm with Beto, I'm not one to drink myself. I could probably vibe with her and definitely could see myself with her. Kojo Sara has the best sad face. <laughs> okay, Shen He. Uh, so Shen He, I'm, I'm not particularly one. Uh, like what is it? so Shen He is a very interesting. Game. I like her design, but I'm not one that would definitely be with her per se, but she'd be definitely someone I would hang out with. So Shen He I definitely hang out with and probably get a bit along. But she also seems a little overworked. Ball or Beelzebub, the shit eating demon. The shit eating demon. Uh, so Ball, I 
do not own and from what I've seen of her and what I know of her she's uh, very very secluded and extroverted or no introverted not introverted so she's kind of like the opposite of official but she's also very uh, unfortunately bad in that same regard where she would probably just tune you out most of the time but when she does hang with you and actually genuinely wants to hang out with you she would be definitely an S tier but because of her introvertedness I think that I'm gonna put her at B Venti the femboy bard listen I am femsexual if you don't know what femsexual is, it's usually a term to describe uh, the attraction to femininity, and that is what I am. I enjoy women, trans, and femboys of all feminine stature and appearance, uh, and that's what I like. And Venti, dis Venti has a similar personality to kind of Fu Tao and why not the, for him being free but like and also being a little trickster too but uh also i can see venti getting along very well uh would i make him the s tier no i'd say probably a tier Zhang Ling. Ling can go of two ways here You can have probably the best night of your life with going eating her foods, or you're going to have food poisoning. <laughs> Not to say that she doesn't know how to cook, it's just that the ingredients can be very uh, unfortunate. So I'm going to put her at B. Jin <sighs> Yan. Alright, so Jin Yan is a rock and roll character, and I really like rock and roll, heavy metal, and stuff like that, so I love that kind of shit. Uh, despite her not being the best character in Genshin to most players, she's definitely a character that I would I enjoy personality-wise. Um, now, a lot of people don't like her English VA, but I play on Japanese, so it doesn't bother me too much. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna say A tier. Yanpei. Yanpei, I actually like. At first, I didn't know how I was gonna feel about Yanpei, but I got so warmed up to her that she's actually one of my main DPSs. Um, so she is a lawyer character, and despite her being really invested in her work, she actually seems like she would take her time to actually be with you and when she has free time and actually be able to uh, enjoy that time. And I could see us getting along and I could see her being a good wife. That's dear. Yoi Mia. Okay, so... Yoimi is another character I didn't own because I was in the hospital for five months. So, Yoimi, Ayaka, Ball are ones I missed because I was in the hospital. However, Yoimi is one that I actually enjoy. She's very, very excitable, very happy, and her design is very amazing. I love her design. I love blondes. Uh, probably stems from the fact that I also grew up uh, playing a lot of blonde games, I guess you could say. Like, uh, one of my favorite characters of all time is Zelda from uh, Smash. Uh, or, well, Zelda from Zelda, but I mean, like, her design, like, my favorite design of Zelda is, like, the Smash one. But, um, but I do have a thing for blondes, and Yoimiya is definitely up there. Yunjin she just came up. Uh, she's a uh, traveler of sorts, you could say, musically. Uh, she likes to bring cultures together. And uh, now I do not know her personality-wise. I haven't had 
any time with her, nor do I know that much about her, but she seems like a genuinely interesting character that I would still want to know, but, um, B-tier. Yai fucking Miko. Let's go. Alright, so Yai, okay. You have to understand something about Yai, okay? I love this woman. Because one, Yai has a, a fucking amazing design. Yai also has a great personality. Not only is she very confident in herself, but she's a confident in us. And I like that. I like a woman that is not just confident in herself, but is, is confident with the people that she's around. I also do enjoy that she has, uh, you know, she seems very relaxed and very outgoing, as well as that personality that, like, you can tell. She is one to joke around and enjoys messing with people as much as you do. She definitely has a sinister vibe to her, but then again, I think that adds more to her character because the playfulness of her sinister is probably due to her fox-like nature, and I really love that, and yeah. I would definitely say that my top five are Yai, Lisa, Rosaria, Amber, Barbara, Dante, Cujo, come on, yeah, there you go, Cujo, Noel, I'll probably put her up here and then Beta last on there. A tier for A tier, I definitely put the put it like this. Uh, I'm gonna say that for the most part. Now Ning Wong is just last because like she just probably be a sugar mama. I don't know like if I can see a full relationship because she's definitely got higher standards. But I know that we would probably be okay. B tier is just B tier. Any anything bottom B is the bottom tiers like of uh like we're just friends. Like there's no sexual interaction. There's no romantic interaction. It's just all friends. Uh and then A is like friends with benefits. You probably hang out with them, you can probably you know go on dates with them and stuff and actually maybe start a relationship as S tier is definitely wife. There is no other way of saying that. It's just a wife. The S tier is wife tier, you know? And so so you got your friends. C is like just people you just be like eh okay and then D is just like you don't really want to be around them. <laughs> but uh yeah that's my list and I hope you guys enjoyed.